Hello. Well, today, I'm here to talk about the new psychological horror film, The Lighthouse. Which, the time you're seeing it, it's Halloween, but uh, I'm recording it on the 25th, which is the day the uh, film came out in my town. Um, it came out uh, last week, the 18th. Um, but it was, like I guess, like a limited release in select theaters before nationwide the following week. Um, uh, because it's brand new, I'm not going to spoil the film for anybody. Um, you know, not everybody has had a chance to see it, obviously. Um, I have no clue where anywhere else in the, in the world it'll be released at. Um, obviously, I'm here in America. Uh, I'm in the Midwest. Uh, I'm in Iowa. Um, and, um, uh, Iowa doesn't get limited releases, so even if it was still just a limited release, I, I wouldn't have been able to see it until, I guess, later. But it came out this week, and I saw it, and... It was really good. I'd say great. Um, you know, if you've seen the trailers, uh, uh, Robert Pattinson and Willem Dafoe are taking care of a lighthouse and uh, are maintaining uh, the lighthouse and the, and, and the quarters they stay in and just everything around on that little, on that rock island that they're staying on and you know uh, there's some interesting s s stuff that happens uh, like um there's mermaid you know in the trailer there's a mermaid um uh, there's like a there's like tentacles and like octopus in the tra uh, trailer it's also seagulls which I can't recall if they were very prominent in the trailers or not, but in the but in the film there's seagulls and um, there's something very significant about them. And, um, uh, yeah, uh, you know, you just have to f watch the film to find out. But this was a f fantastic film. Um, I've never seen The Witch, which is what. Robert Eggers made before this film. Um, to some, that might be a surprise, um, but I just never had a chance to see it. Um, it's not that I was not interested, it's just it just was really under my radar. I heard a bit about it here and there, but I don't know, it just, it just never really came to my radar in that like I heard of it. I thought, I really need to watch that now. Um, I don't know, I just... <laughs> Heard it's good. Um, after seeing the lighthouse, I'm quite interested in seeing uh, seeing that film. Um, I've watched some Q and A's since uh, viewing the film. Uh, and they talk about the witch a little bit, uh, not in too much detail. Um, also, I'm sure there's no reason to because, you know, it's about the lighthouse. But just for some context, like, they might have like used similar methods of making the lighthouse in a way of uh, making uh, the witch or trying to do something different from the witch to make sure the lighthouse stands on its own. But regardless, the lighthouse is an interesting film. It's quite different. Um... It is, the performance is uh, truly sell the film, for me at least. I mean, I was very sucked in from the very get-go. And, you know, you look at the story, it's very interesting. Um, uh, there's some sort of like, like a kind of like Greek mythology and um, uh, Lovecraft, if you've ever read or at least know the stories of be Lovecraft. Uh, there's some stuff in there in the film that is has certain elements that would 
like seem to come out of a Lovecraft story. Um, it's it's just an interesting film. It's very good, though the atmosphere and some of the stuff that happens in the movie could possibly turn people off and not want to watch this film. It is a psychological horror film. Um, so, you know, there's not a lot of, it's not like a slasher, not a big body count or anything. I mean, there's only two people really in the film. I mean, yeah, there's a mermaid, but there's two principal characters. Um, and you, you, you just follow in the story and you learn about the characters and Willem Dafoe uh, is like the lighthouse, lighthouse keeper he's been like that for so long um, and he uh, yeah, uh, he basically is like insane <laughs> I guess you could say or he's been insane for quite some time um, and he's making Robert Pattinson's character uh playing mind games on him making him think he's insane and yeah it's 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 very interesting it's a very interesting film many have said this uh, film could be an academy award contender and i can see why i think the performances in particular uh you know willem dafoe is a phenomenal actor you know, always has been. Robert Pattinson is truly incredible. Um, I have never seen any of his work except for Harry Potter 4. That is the only film I've ever seen of him in. I've seen some clips of Twilight. I've never seen Twilight because that has just never interested me. But and I wasn't that impressed with his acting. Though he himself sort of admits he's not the all that proud of them or in his work with those films though he is appreciative of you know of twilight because you know uh thanks to twilight he is where he is now or he's as big of a name as he is now and he's now able to choose which projects he can do because of that franchise but he's done a lot of work and i've seen some clips here and there of the various films he's done but this is the full this is the really first film I've seen of Robert Pattinson as like the lead character and he, he's just incredible people say he'll get not he could get nominated for best actor and Defoe for supporting actor and I could see some say oh both for best actor because they're both like, could be like the the lead but yeah, I, I would say it's 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 Pattinson is the lead because we follow him throughout the whole film. There are moments where we focus on the, the film focuses on Defoe, but it's really uh, the character Robert Pattinson's character's story, and we sort of kind of go on this journey with him and see things through his eyes, and if he goes insane or is going insane. We're there, and we're all like, what's going on? Uh, it's just a fantastic movie. Um, if you're into that sort of thing, you know, psychological horror films, give this film a chance. If you're not so much, uh, you might skip it. Because uh, yeah, it does get weird. It could be disturbing and creepy. I would say it was creepy. I don't know if I would say it was disturbing for me, but I could understand just the vibe of this film. It could be disturbing to others. Um, but I do think the atmosphere is very, it's quite creepy. Could be unsettling to some. Uh, and it's very effective. Uh, it's a fantastic film. Um, if this does get nominated for awards, I would say it's like big awards it's deserving of it um, I wouldn't say you know want Robert Pattinson for best actor like to win um, I mean there's Joaquin Phoenix and the Joker uh, and Christian Bale has been getting a lot of talk for Ford versus Ferrari which comes out next month I want to see that 
Uh, there's also Taron Egerton in uh, Rocket Man. I've seen that film. Uh, well, I hope to talk about that uh, sometime soon. Um, but you know, this is October. You know, horror and all. Um, and yeah, I just you know, I thought this would be a perfect way to end Halloween, my month of talking about horror films. This is a this should be a great way to end. Um, this is a psychological horror film. It's incredible. It's fantastic. Fantastic story. Acting is top notch. Uh, it's just, uh, it's just great. Um, yeah, I want to see The Witch now. I really do. Uh, people raved about that film, so I'll probably have to see. If, for me, if it lives up to the hype or not, um, I'll do my best to keep things in check because sometimes I've watched films that seem to ha be hyped up and then I'm often disappointed if I somehow don't manage to keep that in mind. This is what other people say, you know, I might like it but maybe not as much as others. Um, but I love The Lighthouse and um, if The Witch has some sort of other similar atmosphere to the film and I've heard the way that film ends. I, I don't know how that movie ends, but I've heard it's kind of uh, is different uh, compared, I guess, other films of its nature. And that would sort of fall around with The Lighthouse because the ending is... It, it's different. I I will say I didn't expect the ending, but it's, it, it is quite interesting. Um, it's a fantastic film. Uh, and with that, I will say, yeah, I will leave you all until next time. Um, so, uh, please, have a great day, have a great weekend, and a great week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.